Hey, what's up guys? This is Michael from Hustle Sheets and today I want to show you guys how to extract a specific part of a URL inside of Google Sheets. I'm going to be using uh, Amazon and eBay links today to show you how to do this. Um, those are the most common questions that I get. Before I get started, I want to plug my Google Sheets course. It's going to be in the description below, so check it out if you guys want to learn more about Google Sheets and basic formulas like this. All right, so to get started, um, I'm going to use these URLs. If you see here, they're just Amazon URLs to start. And what I want to do is I want to extract the ASIN, which is this part of the URL over here, right? It's like B00H, whatever. Um, so what I've done is I've taken all of these URLs and I've pasted it inside of this column here. So a lot of times people will have like a long list of URLs and they just want to grab either the title or the ASIN. And let me show you guys how. It's really, really easy. So I'm going to call this column ASIN now. So what you want to do is you want to use the split formula. And the split formula is going to split it by whatever character that you tell it. Right. So I'm going to type in split parentheses and I will click on that cell and then a comma and then this is where you put in the delimiter or whatever you want to split it by and in our case for this URL we want to split it by a bracket because if you look at what's uh, what character comes before the, the ASIN it's a bracket right everything here is split by a bracket most URLs are split by brackets, so that's probably what you're going to want to use. And make sure to put it inside quotes, close parentheses, and press enter. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to, wherever it sees a bracket, it's going to put whatever text is in between that into a different column. So if you look here, um, this is how it comes out, right? So there were brackets here, brackets here. And what we want is the ASIN, which is going to be over here. And now you want to wrap this entire formula with the index formula and what i mean by that is the asin is this will be number one the first column two three four five it's the fifth column over right so what you're going to do is go back to the original formula and then wrap it with an index formula so index parentheses comma and then put five because that's what we want is the fifth one and if I drag this formula down, now you see here, it's going to grab just the fifth one, right? Now let's say we wanted the title, for example. So the title is in here too. Um, I'm going to copy this formula and I'm going to paste it in here. But now instead of putting five, I'm going to put three and you'll see here it's now we have that, right? So with Amazon links, it's really easy because they structure it uh, pretty straightforward. But in this tab here, I have two eBay links. And eBay links are you know, a little bit different. If I go here, you'll see that there, it's also split by brackets. But let's say we wanted this ID number, right? And then there's like something else that's not a bracket, like a question mark in this case. So it's basically the same thing. I'm going to call this, I don't know if it's the ASIN, but uh, we'll call it serial number. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to type in equals, split, click on that cell, and then do it by bracket first. Because what you want to do is you want to do it by whatever character comes before the number you're looking for or the, the section you're looking for. So if you look here, let's say I wanted this number. Um, but now it comes with all this other stuff ahead of it, right? So you're gonna go through the same thing, basically. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna wrap it inside of an index formula. It's the fifth one. Now you see here, I have this, right? Now all you have to do is split it up again. Now I can do it in this column here. I'll do it here first just to show you guys uh, what I mean by it. So I'm gonna click on this new one right here and then I'm going to split it by a question mark Oops. put it in quotes and press enter and now you'll see here now it's going to split it up right and now it's the same thing again we want to take the index which is going to be the first one so now it's one two we want the first column so I'm going to type in index equals one and you see here now we have it right so you guys get how it works but let me do it how I would do it which is going to be in the original formula instead of having more columns I'm just going to wrap it so I'm gonna wrap it again 
I'm going to split this now, the same thing as I did before, but in the same cell, in a question mark. Now, if you see here, um, now it's split, right? And then I'm going to wrap it again in another index. I want the first the value. Press enter. So this works perfectly fine. The only issue that I'm worried about is that sometimes it has extra white space. Um, extra white space, right? In this case, it doesn't, so it looks like it's fine. I'm going to drag it down. But I think what I saw earlier was that it had extra white space in it. Let me go back just to make sure. Okay, so split here. Okay, I guess it's fine. Sometimes what will happen is um, it'll have like extra white space. Uh, what I mean by that is like, oh, I guess it does. Okay, what I mean by that is if you look here, there's actually a space. Okay, I guess there's not, I'm going crazy. Um, let's say if there was a space like here and maybe at the end of it and it looks like this, um, that can mess it up sometimes. Um, and you just want to use the trim formula. You can just trim it, wrap it in trim, and it'll get rid of all white space. But um, I guess it doesn't have it, so sorry to confuse you guys. But basically, if I go back, it's just going to be split by the question mark. And then now I want the first one, which is index index one comma one just like that and then now i can just drag this formula down and i'm always going to have the serial number now let's say for this one now i wanted the title so let's see how it works so i'm going to type in equals split parentheses this cell the bracket and press enter and the title is one one, two, three, four is the fourth one, right? So now I'm gonna type in index and four, and that looks to be correct. Perfect. So that's uh, basically how you do it. I'm going to leave a link for you guys to make a copy of this sheet so you guys can kind of play around with it. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions or any other type of videos that you guys want to see. And again, make sure to check out the link and subscribe if you guys want to um, sign up for the Google Sheets course. Thanks a lot, guys.